Well, now we're joined by political talk show host Brian C Crabtree from Talk40.com. Brian, good to have you um, on the programme. What do you make of this claim from former FBI cl agent Clint Watts? Well, I think there's a lot of claims that are out there right now. We've got one here in Georgia that there was some sort of hacking in the elections in Georgia. And, and, and there's this back and forth between Democrats who say that the Secretary of State, who's ahead of the elections, had something to do with uh, doing it for political purposes. Then on the other hand, the FBI agent that supposedly hacked into the election systems or attempted to is a Democrat operative. So I don't really know what to make of all of these accusations, but there certainly seems to be a lot of them when it comes to FBI agents or FBI informants. So uh, I believe the words fake news always comes to mind, not to be cliche, but to be a little bit open-minded and that I can't always trust what the media is covering uh, in politics here in America anymore, regretfully. Well, it's said in the article that Russians might not, well, were no longer the peddlers of disinformation. Could it not be the case that mostly Americans were spreading disinformation all along? Well, I think there's been a lot of people spreading disinformation. I've always said that there were probably people in Russia who tried to hack the election, as long as well as in China and in America and in other parts of the world. So what I find interesting is that in the 2012 elections, the biggest geopolitical threat according to one candidate, was Russia, and they, he was laughed out of the room, and then all of a sudden the same people laughing him out of the room found Russia to be the biggest issue in 2016, 2017, and thereafter. So while I think there's certainly divisions between Americans and Russians uh, when it comes to political and geopolitical forces, I, I think that a lot of this has been uber-polarized for the sake of trying to scare voters in America, and I really don't think it's working. I, I think the American people see right through this. How do you think the current levels of division that you just touched upon will affect the midterm votes? Well, America is extremely divided. What we're seeing is something rather unprecedented. For instance, here in Georgia, and it's even greater in Texas, uh, which are two very key states to watch. Republican Senator Ted Cruz has had a tough battle. It appears he'll retain the Senate as a Republican. We're seeing 87 percent turnout in many of those districts as compared to the 2016 presidential election. Here in Georgia, it's north of 80 percent. Getting to 60 used to be a real good number. 60 percent, we're way above those numbers. So while America is extremely divided, extremely politically polarized, what we're seeing right now is is that the American people are as engaged in the political process as they've been in perhaps decades. OK, well, thank you very much, Brian Crabtree, publisher of Talk40.com and political talk show host. Thank you very much for joining us here on RT.